All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Last time I made a video on how to set up your ACH. Told, told you guys how to put on the cover, the cat eyes, the retaining strap for the gunner's goggles and all that shit. So I helped you guys put this on and a lot of you guys thought it was pretty helpful. So I'm gonna help you set up your IOTV next. So usually your units might want, you know, things to be on there. Maybe they want your IFAC like on your back or on your side or whatever, or they want things on specific side, like maybe your IFAC on the right canteen on the left so you know just make sure you know what your unit wants and how they want it but for me they didn't really care they just said fuck it as long as you have what you're supposed to have on your iotv it's fine so what i personally have is the assault panel so it gets like eight mag pouches i'm not sure if they're double they might be double but you know as far as i know they're i've only put one in each and then i have my ifac to to the right of me and my canteen to the left so i'm just taking it apart and then show you guys how to put it all together all right, so this is pretty much the shit you're going to need. So this is your IOTV uh, standard issue. If you have a plate carrier, this doesn't apply to you. This is only for us poor people that have the fucking CIF issued shit. So mine is like pretty brand new. Uh, it's like one of the ones that clips. So as you can see, instead of being Velcro, uh, it's got clips. So for me, I literally just carry my salt panel, canting, and IFAC. Yeah, I know the IFAC is a different color, but it doesn't matter, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna buy nothing that the army doesn't fucking give me. All right. If the army wanted me to have a fucking OCP camo fucking IFAC here, they would have issued me one. These are also gonna be needed. You, you can use either one. I never got issued two of these, so I literally just use one and one. Uh, and then you're also gonna need two of these clips. So these go for the side to help hold the panel on the sides. And then these are gonna be dangling right here. And then they help connect a top. But yeah, this is your uh, your panel and this is your IOTV. So you also get plates and the plates, these go in a specific area. So for me, it took me a couple years basically to figure out where the fuck they go. But if you open up your IOTV, in the front, there's this slit at the bottom. All you wanna do is open that. And then you come to this fucking brown piece over here and you want to lift that up. So just get under it, lift it up. And it should look something like this. You should have either a Velcro or a strap. So if it's strapped up like that, as you can see, all you gotta do is just pull the strap back and then boom, just pull it all the way out, doesn't matter. And then under it, that's where the plate is gonna sit. This pocket is where the plate is gonna sit. So in here. So this is the inside of the IOTV. So you want this to be facing up, right? Facing to your body because it's caved in, right? So all you're gonna do is just stuff it in there in order to be in there like that. So here's the Velcro, here's a little strap and then you just strap it up like that. Boom, and then close it back up. All right, so now we'll do the back. So all you gotta do is flip it over. And if yours is high speed like mine, it literally has a pocket right here for where it goes. And make sure, again, the caved side is towards your back. And then just slide it in there. I forgot to mention, uh, your IOTB, right, when you get it from CIF, might have, like, the, the fucking neck guard. It has, like, the, the fucking ass and the crotch protection. You don't need that shit unless, you know, you're told to by your unit. But for me, I just took all that shit off, you know? So now this is gonna help your assault panel be held up by these little straps, right? You're basically just gonna slide this under the first two. Or the top two. So just push it in like that. Boom, there's that. And just push it through the second one. And then to have it from going anywhere, you basically just extend this little tab out like this, and then it doesn't go nowhere. Unless you like want it to, you know. But yeah, so this is now stayed in here. And then you can also push this little extending part up to try to help it, you know. Ta da! Now it stays because this is holding on to this, and then this is like making it fatter at the back, you know. So now it's not going anywhere. You can still place your little name tape. Or you could use the other one, which is this one. It's kind of has like loop. So my IOTB has these little D rings that are kind of dangling here. Uh, so basically all I did was, you know, just open that to make it a little bit bigger, but I I want it to look like this, right? So that it looks like it's facing up rather than down and then I just kind of did some math Put the thing in Put it through the loop and then just pulled it 
and now you have it like that and you can just close this and that's pretty much set so these little clips are going to take a little bit to you know adjust just because it depends on how big your IO TV is, how big your fucking assault panel, you know, you want it to be or whatever. But you can make these, you know, put these out a little bit farther than you think they're going to be. And then just adjust the assault panel uh, with these little straps. So I already had mine on here. So I already know which ones are going to go where. And all I do is just slide this long piece in. And then just push the little short piece through the bottom. And then it just holds up like this. I just push the long piece push the long part through and then push the short one down and then literally that's pretty much it so now you have your clips on and all you do is literally just clip the, the assault panel on but yeah that's pretty much how i carry my assault panel if you want to adjust it make it tighter or less loose you can extend these outward and then just you know tug it make it tighter. Oh, in the back, usually what I do, because we're in the field and it's stupid hot, I like to carry my camel bag. It's pretty simple, a lot of people probably know this, but I'm gonna just put it in here anyways. So just grab your little straw, push it to the side, and then right under the slit for the, for the you know, plate, just clip your little camel bag to it. And then guide your straw, hide it under this little strap, right? You got your straw, it stays in the front, doesn't go nowhere. And since we're here, I might as well show you guys how to put things on uh, your IOTV or, you know, whatever has these type of loops. But I've seen a lot of people, like, just fucking put their loops go all the way down, you know, straight down. Which, I guess, which isn't wrong, but it's not right. The proper way to do it is to, to secure your, you know, whatever the fuck you want to put on is like this. So you put it through the first loop, right? And there's a reason why, why equipment has its own little, like, freaking straps you want to put the straps through the first loop on whatever item you're trying to place it on and then put the straps through itself like that and then push pull them all the way through right and then again you're gonna push it through the strap in the bottom push that through there and then through there and then pull it through and then again you're gonna go through the strap up top through there and through there and then once again through the strap on the bottom so in this case the IOTV so boom and boom and there you go now it'll be way more secure than if you just slid them through all three of the little you know straps and then after that you just buckle it up Put the little buttons in. And you're ready to go. And yeah, that's how my IOTV is set up. You know, if I was rich, I'd have a plate carrier. And then I showed you guys how to do that. Maybe someday, I don't know, we'll see. But for now, this is just how I set up my IOTV to go to the field, go to like the range or whatever, you know. So you always gotta stay hydrated, you know, in case you get shot or whatever. But yeah, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, let me know what you thought. And if there's anything else that you guys want to know, 